The Deepcool Assassin 3 is not a new CPU cooler, in fact this model has been launched around 2020 and since then it has been a constant disruption on the air CPU cooler market, competing with the best offerings from Noctua and Be Quiet. However, given its age and the rapid development of new CPU coolers, can this air CPU cooler still be a good choice for a gaming or overclocking system? This is the Deepcool Assassin 3. It has a cool name and it looks great, easily matching the Noctua NHD15 or the Be Quiet Daruk Pro 4, in the looks department at least. The Assassin 3 is a dual tower air CPU cooler that can handle up to three 140mm fans and has included two of them. It is also one heavy CPU cooler with a weight of 1464 grams or 1.46 kilograms. When we talk about the pricing, the Assassin 3 can be had right now for 90 US dollars, albeit some discounts are available. I've seen this CPU cooler selling for as low as 70 US dollars, but as I've said in other reviews, discounts are not permanent so it's best to base our opinion on the last stable price. To put things into perspective, the Noctua NHD15 can be had for 100 US dollars right now, at least with a discount and the Be Quiet Darok Pro 4 is priced at 90 US dollars. This makes the Deepcool Assassin 3 the cheapest model of them all. Going back to the design of this CPU cooler, it's certainly good, with the black and silver color combination and two all black fans. Even though it's called the Assassin Mark III, mind you, it does not have any Assassin type things plastered all over the place. Or in other words, it has zero gamery RGB pointless things applied on the heatsink or the fans. I don't hate those before mentioned things, I just dislike them as often they are driving up the prices of a product while adding nothing in terms of the design. The heatsink of the Assassin 3 cooler has a typical tower tower design, and each tower has 44 aluminum made cooling fins. These fins are shaped the usual way, with their edges bent downwards. This is done to not only channel the air through the heatsink, but to increase the rigidity of the heatsink as a whole. The sides of the heatsink and cooling fins are shaped to create a surface for the fan clips to attach to. This is not a new or unique design, but it's worth showcasing it as it will be compatible with many types of fan clips. The top of the heatsink is covered by plastic plates that are just for decoration, and to cover the heat by headnicks, which often are not the best looking thing in the world. These covers can be removed to lower the height of the CPU cooler, however it's not worth it as they are firmly in place and you might break them in the process of removal. The base plate of the Deepcool Assassin 3 is made from solid nickel plated copper and has a lovely circular pattern etched into its surface. This is a leftover from the manufacturing process and will not affect the cooling performance in any way. The CPU cooler has no less than 7 nickel plated copper heat pipes which are soldered directly to the back of the base plate. The soldering quality could be better but it is what it is and you won't really see it with the cooler installed in your system. The heat pipes are making contact with both heatsink towers and all cooling fans for optimal cooling performance. The sides of the heatsink towers have these plastic and rubber strips that will protect the fins from getting scratched and prevent any vibrations from the fans from going through the heatsink and in your system. Speaking of the fans, the Assassin 3 has two 140mm fans pre-installed and can accommodate another 140mm fan thanks to its heatsink layout and included fan clips. The fans have the standard 140mm dimensions and a thickness of 25mm. They have a minimum speed of 400 rpm and a maximum speed of 1400 rpm. Thankfully, these fans are PMW compatible and can be controlled through software or a fan hub. The corners of the fan frame have rubber pads installed on both sides. This is done to dampen the vibrations and keep the fans locked on the heatsink. While the fans have a 4-pin connector each, the wires are exposed as no sleeving is used. In terms of the accessories, you get a lot for your money. You get a user manual, a long Philips screwdriver, a backplate, a tube of thermal compound, 3 pairs of fan clips, 2 cable extensions and a Y cable splitter, a thermal compound cleaning kit and the components of the mounting system which includes mounting bars, mounting nuts and a couple of screws and nuts which are socket specific. The installation of the Deepcool Assassin 3 is straightforward, at least on my Intel platform. You get the backplate and install it on the back of the motherboard, at the front you tighten the nuts over the backplate studs. Afterwards the mounting bars go over the nuts and you secure them with these Philips thumb screws. Finally, you apply the thermal compound on the CPU surface and the heatsink on the CPU, lining up the spring-loaded screws with the threaded holes in the mounting bars. With the heatsink installed, you install the fans, connect them to your motherboard and you are pretty much done. 
And this is how the Deepcool Assassin 3 looks like once installed in my testing system. And immediately you can see that the clearance for the RAM modules is not good at all. This CPU cooler will completely cover all 4 RAM slots on an ATX motherboard. In fact, I had to raise the front fan a few millimeters to be able to install the cooler. In terms of the graphics card clearance, you have around 19 millimeters of space between the sides of the CPU cooler and the backplate of the graphics card. Enough space for airflow around the CPU cooler, but not enough space for you to easily access the top mounted M.2 socket of the motherboard. Before we head into the testing of the CPU cooler, you will get to hear the CPU cooler with both its fans going from the lowest possible RPM to their maximum. In the case of the Deepcool Assassin 3, both fans will spin up to 1400 RPM. I am doing this because while a decibel value is useful for when comparing CPU coolers, an actual noise sample will give you an idea of what to expect noise-wise. With two 140mm fans spinning at a maximum speed of 1400 RPM, the Deepcool Assassin 3 reached a maximum noise output of 43 decibels with the measuring device placed at a standard distance of 10 cm from the CPU cooler. This noise output places the Deepcool Assassin 3 behind the Noctua NHD15, and especially behind the Be Quiet Darok Pro 4. Mind you, the Be Quiet is made to be as quiet as possible, so it makes sense. Nevertheless, the Deepcool Assassin 3 is performing well so far as a 43 decibel rating for such a CPU cooler is not high. The testing of all CPU coolers unless otherwise stated is done using an Intel i9-9900K CPU which is running at both its factory turbo boost frequency and it is then manually overclocked to 5 GHz on all cores. The first test uses the Intel Burntest V2 benchmark, a synthetic benchmark that is often used to test the stability of the overclocked CPUs, and in our case it is useful as it places a load on the CPU that is on the same level as many modern video games. And in this test, the typical Assassin 3 reached a maximum temperature of 56 degrees Celsius with the CPU overclocked to 5 GHz on all cores, and 51 degrees Celsius with the CPU at its factory turbo boost frequency. This test was done at the standard ambient temperature of 26 degrees Celsius. This result places the Deepcool Assassin 3 on the second position in the graph, with a 2 degrees Celsius difference from the Noctua NH-D15. However, the next test is where each CPU cooler is tested to its limits, some even beyond that, as this test uses the system stability test of the AIDA64 Extreme software. This synthetic benchmark places an unrealistically high CPU load, the type of CPU load that you will never encounter in your daily usage unless you are doing intensive video rendering with the CPU as the only rendering unit. And in this test, the Deepcool Assassin 3 reached a maximum temperature of 82 degrees Celsius with the CPU overclocked to 5 GHz or all cores and 50 9 degrees Celsius with the CPU at its factory turbo boost frequency. This result places the Deepcool Assassin 3 on the second position in our graph, just 1 degree Celsius behind the Be Quiet Pure Loop 280 and just 2 degrees ahead of the Noctua NHD15. These performance results showcase just how good the Deepcool Assassin 3 truly is, overtaking everything except a liquid CPU cooler, and even then, we're talking about a 1 degree temperature difference, or in other words, an outstanding performance from an air CPU cooler. The Deepcool Assassin 3 is not a new CPU cooler, however, neither is the Noctua NHD15 or the Be Quiet Darok Pro 4. However, all of them share the same space price wise and are still selling like hotcakes all these years later. The Deepcool Assassin 3 is an outstanding performer when we look at the temperature with an overclocked i9-9900K CPU, and the performance can be improved if you decide to buy another 140mm fan and use this CPU cooler with a triple fan configuration. However, this level of performance comes with a price. First, it's not a quiet CPU cooler, that's for sure, and second, the clearance is below average at best. You can forget about tall RAM modules and on some motherboards the heatsink will interfere with the first PCIe slot. Thus, before you pull the trigger on this CPU cooler, as good as it is, you need to do your homework and see if it will work with your system, and especially with your case as the Deepcool Assassin 3 has a height of 165mm. In terms of the build quality, this CPU cooler is on par with the high-end models from Be Quiet, however Noctua still has the upper hand that is understandable given the history of the company. 
What is great to see here is a great mounting system. It's simple to use and has all metal parts and even a complete beginner would be able to install this CPU cooler with ease. You also get a nice screwdriver and free tools are always a good thing to see. If what you need is a CPU cooler that will work for years and perform great, then the Deepcool Assassin 3 is the right choice for you. If you want RGB and good clearance, you might as well look elsewhere as this CPU cooler has neither of them. It will come down to what you need and see if this cooler matches your requirements. If you like this review, then you might consider subscribing for more and if you want to support me in a direct way, then in the description below, you will find the links for both the Patreon and the Subscriber Star pages of this channel.